going to get to work on uh, doing the camper build. And uh, got my board. And they're actually the boards that I used last time I did it. You don't have to work too hard sanding your boards. Just, uh, just enough that the edges of your boards don't have little splinters on them because I'm going to paint them. They're all going to be painted. Every board that goes in your camper needs to be painted because that way it won't get moldy. A couple of my boards in my last build I didn't paint actually didn't paint any of them and a couple of my boards got moldy so we'll see how this goes I'm gonna get to work on this and get this job done so this is the color that I am going to paint my boards it's called the uh, dandelion wish from Home Depot and I really like this paint that I'm using because I have already painted some of my boards and in the past years when I have painted things sometimes it seems like the paint doesn't want to dry but this this dried real nice it didn't dry sticky I really at all I like this paint it's um be her premium plus and it's uh, low odor so yeah I'm really happy it's um, interior semi gloss enamel deep base and the numbers are 3300. Resist dirt and grime, washable finish, um, mildew resistant finish, 100% acrylic. So, and it's low odor, so it's supposed to be the most non toxic paint that they sell at Home and Depot. And I've been informed by Home Depot that. They won't cut any boards that you bring in that you already have. You have to buy them there and then they will cut them. Now, I bought these there, but I bought them there last year. So I'm like, that's cool. I'm good with that. I don't really like the way they cut their boards anyways. They always chew the boards up really bad. I think that their saw blades are not very sharp or something because the boards always get chewed up. So, what I did was I uh, took my boards to um, Dixie Line. And at Dixie Line, they cut my boards for me. That was nice. I think they charge like 60 cents a cut. Not too bad. Considering if they don't cut my boards for me, I won't be getting my boards cut. I don't have a saw to cut boards. But, yeah. <laughs> but I am going to put a lot of paint on these boards so that hopefully they don't get moldy and I'm going to try to um, do this so that there's airflow. No board can be just scrunched up against something. I'm going to try to get air flowing through the spaces where I'm putting these boards and I'll show you more about my 
ideas on that when I uh, start putting these boards together. I told them I wanted the most non-toxic paint they had. I wanted to get indoor-outdoor paint, but that was not non-toxic at all. So, I got indoor paint. And Hopefully, my boards don't get moldy again, like they did last time when I did this. Last time I didn't paint them, I just cut them and put them up, hammered them together. And I don't think that's a good idea. I think they need to be painted to help to keep the mold issue on your board away. My truck is not insulated at all in the back of the camper. And I'm not going to insulate it because I want to get a different camper one of these days. I don't know if it's worth going to all that trouble. Should be a combination of primer and paint. Hmm. So I guess you're not supposed to have to prime the board. I love this color. It's a pretty color. I wanted to do some color. Big hole right there. 
fill it up with paint. All right, we will continue painting. And now, see you when they're done. Now, there's the boards. The boards are getting painted, and while I was at it, I painted my ladder. Hopefully, I'll do a couple more coats, and then next week I can start hammering them together. I want to use as few boards as I can get away with, because the bad thing about wood is when it gets wet, it gets moldy. So yeah, I'm going to do about another one or two coats of paint. I don't know how crazy I want to get with the paint. Yeah. Well, there it is. We're making some progress.